Uh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys. And first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, I have something new planned for you. I'm going to be showing you guys the five best chimp strategies, in my opinion, of 2021. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Alright guys, so the first strategy that we're going to go ahead and look at, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. First best chimp strategy, in my opinion, is of course going to be the Oban strat, or the Druid strat more specifically. So the basis of the Druid strat basically pairs Oban Greenfoot uh, with six Druids. And the reason why this strategy is so powerful is, of course, because the druids buff each other. And then, of course, Oben buffs the druids as a passive ability. So, uh, the base or the basis of how you want to set up this strat is basically you want to pair up uh, six druids side by sides or side by side. So they're all within ra radius of each other. Then you go ahead and up upgrade all of the druids all the way to populus like so. And then once you get all of your druids upgraded to pop lust, the next thing that, that you're going to want to do is, of course, you're going to want to pair your pop lust with uh, two alchemists to go ahead and keep them buffed. And of course, this buff is more than enough to go ahead and allow you to make it to the higher rounds where you can actually afford to buy your open green foot. On top of that, when you have all of your druids set up and all and all of that fun stuff, of course you want to pair your druids with a village because the village is going to allow your druids to be able to see camel balloons and, and, and stuff like that. If you make it to about round 82 or 83, depending on what map you're on and what, sh what starting strategy you go with, Next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to upgrade one of your druids to an avatar of wrath. And this is going to be the primary popping power of this strat itself. But of, of course, uh, this strategy does have a downfall. The avatar of wrath cannot pop uh, or cannot passively pop lead balloons. So I found that the best thing to do is on your monkey village just go ahead and upgrade it to mib and that will allow all of your druids on top of that your avatar of wrath to pop lead balloons now another downfall of the druid strat is of course going to be round 99 because the reinforced edts are just a little bit hard for the avatar of wrath to pop especially on longer maps so a tried and true method that i that i've started to use uh in most of my guides is i'll go ahead and up upgrade a or one or two ninja Mutt monkeys up to a balloon sabotage and then the balloon sabotage will allow your avatar of wrath uh the ability to go ahead and pop the reinforced ddt's on round 99 but Anyways, guys, that is the basis for the Druid Strat. Of, of course, you, you guys can start out however, however you guys would like would like to start out. Uh, I generally start off with the the Ninja Monkey because uh, you kind of save a little bit of money in the long in the long run because you're gonna go ahead and upgrade an Alchemist to a Tier Four Al Al Alchemist to begin with. So you save a little bit of money and you can go ahead and remove one of the alchemists here because you are because you already have an alchemist placed down so anyways guys that's gonna do it for the druid strat let's go ahead and move on to number two all right guys here we are with the number two chimp strategy so this strategy is going to be known as the striker jones or moab mauler strategy strategy uh, i've showcased this once before but this is going to be another really good strat for 2021 because of course the moab mauler paired with uh striker jones is absolutely crazy like the amount of popping power that you can pull out of the moab mauler when you pair him with the uh, striker jones is actually insane so generally what you would like to do with uh, the striker jones is you want to pair him with a bunch of moab maulers but it's not all about the moab maulers be be because you also want to go with some recursive clusters and you want to grab a couple of the balloon impact uh tier 4 bomb shooters as well because the top tier bomb sh bomb shooters upgrade to the tier 4 will of course allow you to uh, uh stun some of the more 
beefy balloons like the uh, reinforced ceramic balloons. So generally, what I would or what I would do is, of course, I would have my starting strat depending on whether it's the ninja Mutt monkey or if it's uh, a monkey ace or if it's the monkey sub. And then once I get the monkey sub placed down and I'm past round. 40, that's when I I can generally let loose ever so slightly and I can start going with the actual strat itself So uh, with the uh, Breaker Jones strat I generally like to place down a couple of top tier four monkey villages like so to go ahead and give me some cheaper prices on all of the Moab Maulers that I'm gonna be placing down because of course, when you upgrade the monkey village to a tier four, it will give you the first up, the first upgrade on your primary towers for free. So now that we have our two monkey villages placed down, and uh, it will allow our bomb shooters to see a cam cam or camo balloons. The next thing that we can go ahead and do is start placing down a couple of Moab maulers. Now the big the big downside of doing this strat is of course it takes a lot of space. In order to get at, in order to get a bunch of the bomb shooters placed down, but generally this strat just consists of spamming down as many Moab Maulers as you can fit on the screen, and then of course pairing a recursive cluster up upgrade to heavy bombs, and then of course you can go ahead and grab yourself a balloon impact. Now I generally like to go with two recursive clusters and two balloon impacts whenever I'm doing this because of of course having uh two recursive two recursive clusters just adds that much more popping power and then as then as soon as you get uh, these two towers down next thing you're going to do is you're just going to spam down uh two three zero bomb shooters until you have no more space so the big bonus of striker jones that kind of that that makes him better than Oban when it comes to buffing towers is Strikers Jones uh, doesn't have a limit on where he can actually affect uh, the towers that he's buffing. So as you can see, he has we have a little bit of uh, the Striker Jones above his head, and of course, if we place this bomb shooter out of the range of the Striker Jones, of of course he's he this, this tower is still going to get the buff. So again, guys, the only premise of the strat is just getting to the point where you can uh, start placing down your Moab Maulers. As soon as you get to the point where you can start placing down your Moab Maulers, uh, you're pretty much a you're, you you pretty much have a guaranteed win for most chimps maps. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for number two. Let's go ahead and jump into number three. All right, guys, here we are with the number three chimp strat. So the basis of this strategy is going to be the Grandmaster Ninja Strat. So what we want to do with the Grandmaster Ninja Strat is, of course, I'm going to be using Pat Fusty because Pat, Fu Pat Fusty provides a massive buff to, uh, or can buff a bunch of towers within his range. On top of that, uh, I just wanted to showcase a strat where you can actually use Pat Fusty. And the Grandmaster Ninja ninja strat is actually probably the best strat to showcase pat fussy himself so now what you want to do with the grandmaster ninja strat is you want to upgrade the or your first ninja all, all the way up to grandmaster ninja of course uh following that of of course pair your grandmaster ninja with an alchemist like a so and then following having your Grandmaster Ninja and uh, of, of course uh, getting to the point where you can afford your Grandmaster Ninja, which Grandmaster Ninja himself costs, I uh, I believe, like 37,000 37, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so $37,800 for the Grandmaster Ninja. So that means you should be able to roughly afford him around round 71 or 72 So that means of course you're gonna have to add a couple of towers to make sure that you're able to make it to that point So now that we have our Grandmaster Ninja the next part of the strat is just up upgrading a bunch of uh, Ninja monkeys up to shinobi tactics and the reason why we're upgrading all of these ninjas to shinobi tactics is of course every every uh center tier tier three ninja that you place down will of course buff other ninjas within the radius 
So as that being said, uh, the maximum amount of Shinobi tactics that you can uh, place around your Grandmaster Ninja is going to be 20. The, an another downside to this strat, much similar to the Striker Jones strat, is of course you need a lot of space. Another really good hero that you can use with, with this strat, uh, opposed to using Pat Fusty, if one, you guys don't have Pat Fusty unlocked, or two, you don't want to use Pat Fusty, is Oban also, also works really, really well with, with this strat, because of course, at, or Oban buffs magic towers. So, of course, uh, the fact that the Ninja Monkeys are magic towers, powers means that Oban would be paired really really well with the uh, Grandmaster Ninja Strat in general. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and up upgrade all of these ninjas up to the Shinobi Tactics. And again guys, the biggest thing with the strat is it, it just takes a lot of space to actually pull off the strategy itself. As, as, as you can see, we only have uh, 11 buffs on our Grandmaster Ninja and we have a bunch of space to take taken up by our shinobi tactics ninjas already all right so let's let's go ahead and get all of these ninjas up upgraded to the shinobi tactics uh of course i'm gonna have to upgrade a couple of them to the ninja discipline in order to allow them to actually affect the grandmaster ninja all right so as soon as we get our shinobis down here we go it shouldn't take us too much longer so 16 we just need two more Again, guys, it takes a lot of space in in order to get uh, all all of your ninjas placed placed down, which which means that this strat this strat is not usable on every single map. But again, it is a very very good chimp straps or chimp strat. So uh, of course I, I had to, I had to include it in my list. So we're at 19, and if we can place down another ninja within the radius of our grandmaster ninja. Like so, there we go, a perfect. And now that we have the 20 buff on top of our Grandmaster Ninja, the next thing that I personally like to do is any ninjas that I did not go to Ninja, or did not upgrade to the top path, uh, I generally like, like to go for Caltrops because of course the Caltrops will uh, be placed on the track very, very fast. And then of course, when, when you add yourself a Monkey Village up upgrade to MIB, it will allow all of the uh, cow traps to actually pop lead balloons, making easy work of some of the higher rounds. Uh, and then on top of that, you can also upgrade a couple of your ninjas to the balloon sabotage, which the balloon sabotage will allow your your setup here the ability to actually uh, have more time to pop some of the high tiered rounds. But anyways, guys, that is the premise for the Grandmaster Ninja Strat. So let's go ahead and move on to number four. All right, guys, let's move on to number four. So, of course, uh, this would not be the best Chimp Strat of 2021 if I did not include the Prince of Darkness. Of course, because the Prince of, Dar the Prince of Darkness as of the 22.2 update is probably one of the most overpowered towers in Balloons Tower Defense 6 as of right, right, right now. So, that being said, the Prince of Darkness can pretty much be paired with any Tier 5 tower. Uh, I'm going to use the Sky Shredder for this one because, of course, the Sky Shredder is another great tower to use in Chimps mode. Uh, and I was trying to find uh, the best towers to pair with the Prince of Darkness. And I felt like the Sky Shredder was among the top towers that you could actually pair with the Prince of Darkness. Because you, because you can uh, afford the Sky Shredder at such an early point. So, uh, what I gen what I generally like to like to do with the Prince of Darkness paired with the Sky Shredder is I'll go ahead and throw down our Prince of Darkness first. I'll get him up, up upgraded to the uh, Prince of Darkness, and then following getting the Prince of Darkness, that's that's when you'll save up to try and afford your Sky Shredder. So then, of course, to uh, make to make sure that your Prince of Darkness and your Sky Shredder can pop all different types of balloons, just just go ahead and upgrade it to the MIB to ensure that you have that, that you don't struggle with popping any certain balloons. So the next thing that you'll want to do with this strat to give your towers more time to pop balloons is, of course, uh, 
throw down a couple of tier four balloon sabo ninja monkeys in order to give you towers more time to actually pop the balloons so that so that being said uh again the premise of the strat is to go ahead and upgrade your prince of or your wizard monkey all the way to prince of darkness paired with the wall of fire uh following that uh you aren't limited to only using the sky shredder you can actually pair it with the darling gunner you can pair it with the heli pilot more specifically the, the apache prime you can use the carrier flagship you can use the uh sub commander you can use uh the attack zone pretty much anything that 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 you guys would like to use uh you you guys can actually pair with the prince of darkness because the prince of darkness is just that good that being said uh there is a one drawback to the prince of darkness himself and it's going to be bigger rounds like round 80 because of, of course uh the prince of darkness actually needs to have balloons in his graveyard in order to actually pop balloons all right or well in, in order to actually summon balloons so that 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 being said as, as you guys can see right now the prince of darkness is having an extreme amount of trouble in dealing with the zomg because he has no uh no balloons in his graveyard but if we go ahead and delete this this balloon and then we'll go ahead and send what let's uh let's let's send a hundred red balloons his way really really quick and get his uh graveyard going maybe nope uh looks like we did not get his graveyard going maybe send round 63 so as long as your prince of darkness has a couple of balloons in his graveyard he can actually deal with a bunch of these uh a bunch of these rounds of, of course he's not going to do that well be because he didn't have a uh, balloons in his great in his graveyard at the start of round 63 but as you guys can see now that we went ahead and beat 63 if we pull up round 80 uh you guys are going to see a drastic difference in the amount of balloons that he can pop but but of 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 course uh the big downside of this is the fact that uh the balloon needs to make it pretty far in order to start getting affected from the zombie balloons that are coming out of the prince of darkness himself so uh this so this strat does does or uh the prince the prince of darkness can hold his own but uh but again he will struggle on some of the uh some of the rounds where you don't have uh a lot of balloons that 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 your prince of darkness can actually fill up his graveyard with so let's go ahead and delete the balloons again so that so that being said that's why uh it's just really good to pair your prince of darkness with towers that can actually pop uh pop uh the moab balloons especially when it comes to zomgs and more specifically the bad the bad balloon itself but all right, guys, uh, that will do it for number four. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to number five. All right, guys, and here we are at number five. So the number five slot is going to consist of using Quincy as your hero, and it is going to be the Apache Prime strat. Now, I do know that the Apache, the uh, heli pilot in general, got a massive nerf, but at the same time, this strategy is still pretty good for most beginner maps. So that being said, uh, what the strat consists of is, of course, er, using your Quincy, followed by placing down your Quincy. Uh, of course, you you go with a starting strat. Gen gen er, generally, for most maps, it's going to consist of a Ninja Monkey upgrade to Balloon Jitsu, paired with a stronger stim on your Alchemist. Uh, but of course, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that by now but uh let's go ahead and jump into the actual strat itself so what you would want want to do is upgrade your heli pilot to the apache dart ship uh up upgrade your up or your apache dart ship up to faster darts followed by faster firing uh once once you guys have this setup uh the next thing that that you should go for is you would of course go for the apache prime uh following the Apache Prime this is where things get a little bit different from what we've seen already and then of course you, you would grab yourself a engineer monkey and upgrade it to overclock and then once you have the overclock for your Apache Prime that's where you have a little bit of leeway to place down a couple of different towers 
Uh, you, you you can go with a perma spike like so up upgrade to a zero to five of course you would need to add an al an, al an alchemist upgraded to a acidic mixture dip in order to allow your uh perma spike the ability to pop uh lead balloons but if you guys do not want to go with the perma spike the other thing that that you guys could go for is you guys could go for an ice monkey Upgraded to Icicle Impale with Enhanced Freeze and Deep Freeze. And then you guys can actually take it a step further and then grab yourself a Monkey Village like a so. And then upgrade it all the way to Primary Mentoring. You go ahead and give your Ice Monkey a little bit of a buff. On top of that, you, you guys will, of, of course, uh, before you up upgrade to the Apache Dart Ship, you would act, actually grab yourself a Radar Scanner. To give your uh, Heli Pilot the ability. Uh, Ability to actually see camel balloons on top of that you would all, all also so allow you or er, place this monkey village within range of your ice monkey as as, as well to go ahead and allow your ice monkey to uh, pop or er, to uh to see uh, camel balloons as well uh, another hero that pairs really really well with the Apache uh, Prime is of is of course going to be Etienne because you guys wouldn't need to worry about up upgrading to the radar scanner and it would allow you to get your Apache dart ship at a earlier round. Uh, that being said, uh, if you guys do choose to go with Quincy, the main re the main reason why I chose to go with Quincy for this strategy is of course because of round. Uh, 76 because the Apache dart ship no matter what you do to it the Apache dart ship cannot deal with round 76 so let's go ahead and showcase that really really quick uh, of course we would have our monkey village upgrade to jungle drums uh, as well as the radar scanner and generally we would also have an alchemist placed on top of our uh, Apache dart ship as well so let's just go ahead and send out round 76 really really quick and as you guys can see, uh, the Apache Dart Ship is not able to deal with all of these regen balloons. So what, what, what you would do is you would use Quincy's uh, Aerostorm for round 76. And then you guys would be able to save up that last little bit of money in order to afford it, the Apache Prime. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the number five spot. Please feel free to let me know in the comments below if I missed any, any strats or if, if you guys feel like any of the, the strats that I chose are, or are, are, if any of the chats that are, blah, any of the strats I chose don't, don't, don't belong on the, the top five list. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Blue Star Defense 6 content, but Anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives, and I'll see you guys in the next one.